I know that getting diagnosed with Crohn's disease can be very overwhelming, but the first step to getting better is to have an accurate diagnosis, and learning about the disease will put you on the road to proper care management. Josh was 12 years old, and he noticed he had some irritation, and it was getting worse. The pediatrician said to us, it looks like he has Crohn's, and got us into Children's to see our gastroenterologist. It's gradually come back, put some more into tissue. Colonoscopy and biopsy are really the test that establish the diagnosis of Crohn's disease. Okay, take very tiny samples in different regions of the intestine. That gets sent to the pathologist who examines that under the microscope to confirm what we see. The biopsies have demonstrated the fact that Josh has Crohn's disease. Okay. Crohn's disease refers to a region of the intestine, usually in the last part of the small intestine or the large intestine, that becomes severely inflamed. That means red and swollen. Sometimes it can cause scarring and narrowing of the intestine. Other times it pokes holes in the intestine called perforations. You see typically small ulcers involving one region of the intestine. The most common symptoms that doctors look for are belly pain that's just not getting better, diarrhea, sometimes inflammation of the skin around the anus, poor appetite, poor growth, weight loss, fever, and sometimes joint pains. So you probably have a good number of questions. Uh, is there a cure for Crohn's disease or is this something that he's gonna have long term? There's no cure for Crohn's disease, but there are medications that are very effective in controlling the inflammation, getting him feeling normal again, which is what we want. How serious is this? Crohn's disease is a long-term chronic illness. It's serious. I won't pretend it's not serious. I put it on a scale with asthma. Some people have mild cases. Some people have more severe and more serious cases. But generally speaking, it's something that you grow up with. For the medicine, do I have to be on it, like, forever? You're probably going to have to be on some sort of medicine. I don't want to say forever. Uh, over time, we're hoping we're going to find a cure for these diseases. But for the next several years, for sure. Am I going to have more tests to figure out if I'm doing well or not? Well, you'll certainly have more blood tests. As far as will you need another colonoscopy or not, a lot of that depends how you do. You probably will need another colonoscopy at some point in the future. But for some people, you know, that's a few months down the road. For other people, it's a few years down the road. So we'll really just have to see how you do. What, where do we go from here? Do we... Around the time of the initial diagnosis, I ask the patient and their family to meet the various members of our healthcare team. I'm Laurie, I'm one of the nurses, how are you? These can include our nurse specialists that help us manage different aspects of pediatric inflammatory bowel disease and educate patients, social workers who help us in dealing with the various stresses that accompany having a Great. chronic illness. All right, well, feel free to call me if there's anything I can do to, to help. Nutritionists will review diet and monitor growth, nutrition, and assess adequate intake of calories. Any of these things look like something that would work for you? You'll see our nurse educator, and she'll come in with some additional information. Gosh, how you doing? I'm Tracy Soslowski. I'm the IBD nurse educator, and Dr. Busfaros asked me to meet with you guys today just to talk a little bit more about the diagnosis and to try to answer any additional questions that you might have. I usually like to start by just asking Josh if you could tell me a little bit about what you know about Crohn's disease. Uh, well, I know it's uh, like ulcers in the stomach and intestines, and when food gets in it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Crohn's disease is a form of inflammatory bowel disease. Have you heard that word before? No? Okay. <laughs> so inflammatory bowel disease, uh, sometimes for short we call it IBD. And IBD, it's a chronic but very manageable condition. Uh, it affects everyone a little bit differently, but for the most part, kids respond quite well to treatment. Typically, children will start to feel better within about 
two to four weeks after starting treatment. Initially, they're gonna need to be seen a lot more frequently, uh, usually about uh, every one to two weeks. And then once things get more settled uh, and stabilized, we usually see patients back about every three to four months. So how common is Crohn's? It's actually fairly common. Uh, there's about 1.4 million Americans that are affected with inflammatory bowel disease, and about 10% of those are uh, children or adolescents. You know, children with IBD go to school, they play sports, they travel, go to college, and lead full and active lives. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you have IBD, you have to do a little bit more planning than other children. So you have to remember to bring your medication with you if you're you know, going on a sleepover or going to summer camp. I think you might be surprised to know that there are a number of actors and celebrities with IBD, <laughs> also professional athletes and Olympians who have wow. IBD, uh, and also even uh, some former presidents who also had inflammatory bowel disease. So. We have an IBD resource binder that we use for newly diagnosed patients that just offers a lot of additional support materials to help serve as a resource for the discussions that we've had with them in clinic. If you, you know, think of any additional questions later on, you have my name and contact information, so don't hesitate to uh, give me a call or send me an email. Great. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.